Hi, I'm Kay Nash, and I want to share a prophetic word for today with you. You know, in the Bible, it says that Jesus taught in the temple daily. And so I, he had something new to say each day because he's Jesus, and obviously he's full with a plethora of information. And I feel like today the Lord wants me to give you specific word from him for today specifically. Hopefully this will encourage you and ignite a fire in you to do something with your life. Hallelujah. The word I had for today was be loosed. Hallelujah. Mm, mm. And I just want to talk to you about how loosing helps you reign. Let's check out this verse together. This is Luke 1930. To 31 saying go into the town which is before you this is Jesus talking here as soon as you get there you will find a colt tied which no man has ever sat loose him and bring him hither and if any ask you why you loosed him you shall say unto him because the Lord has need of him hallelujah what needs to be loosed in your life? Now, this is interesting here because before Jesus could use the donkey, the donkey, hallelujah, needs to be loosed. <laughs> and I think what happens often in the church is that people are saved and we try to immediately throw them into service, not realizing they need to go through a process of heart healing and deliverance before we throw them out there because they need to be saved from some stuff. You know, the Bible says we wrestle out our salvation with trembling and gross, and it's a process to be used by God. Now, that doesn't mean that God can't use anyone. God used Paul immediately. But then God sent Paul into Arabia for three years. And I honestly believe that was a training process. That was a deliverance process. That was a heart healing process to take him out all the things he learned being a Pharisee and to put him into apostleship. If you want to go from a giant transition in your life, such as Pharisee to apostle, there's going to be a process. There's going to be a loosing. Loose the donkey and then bring him to me because I have use of him. And I believe a lot of the problems right now we're having in the church is half the church doesn't get delivered from the stuff that they were in before they were even saved. So they're coming into Christianity with all these heart wounds, with all these demons, with all these demonic mindsets. And then you're telling them as soon as they walk into the door to serve to serve more to do more to do more and they are healed and broken and just making a mess of things and we need to take time when people get saved and we need to say okay what what did you go through what was your life take but you know what that takes love and that takes time and we need to pause and reflect and think about how can we help the most people in the body of Christ especially the new believers we need to take time to train them versus saying welcome to Christianity serve and go save other souls they don't even know what they're saving people into because they're not even fully delivered yet now I think we're always being transformed more and more so there's never really a point where you arrive per se but there can be a point where you have at least knowledge about, hey, if I, my heart gets messed up, this is how I deal with it. If I run into a demon or a demonic mindset or a stronghold, this is what I need to do. You know, if I have bad thoughts, this is how I cast them down. And so I just want to encourage you today to get loosed in order to be used. And if you're a pastor or a leader, apostle, prophet, evangelist, whatever, and you have people that are serving that need deliverance or heart healing, you need to take time and address that situation because then we just keep producing things exactly like the world. We don't want the church to look like the world. We want the church to be set apart. Maybe we need to be loosed. Another example of this is Joseph. Joseph was in prison for many years, and when he comes out, it says that Pharaoh loosed him. Check this out. This is Psalms 105.20. The king had sent him and loosed him, the ruler of the peoples, and drew him out. And he's talking about Joseph there. And Joseph was bound, and then Joseph was loosed, and then Joseph was used. Okay, we got to unbind people, we got to unloose them, and you might have to unloose yourself, Jesus. And you have authority to do this in Christ Jesus, Matthew 16, 19. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. 
And so I just want you to start declaring yourself, I am loose from demonic oppression. I am loose from heart problems. I am loose from mental mindsets that are keeping me stuck. And engage in that process. And as you engage in it, God gives you more and more wisdom. You know, the Bible also says, my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. You need to get knowledge. I have a book on discerning the spirits. I have a book on heart healing. And I'm just going to put those bold up on the screen right now. If you need help in either of these areas, make sure that you deal with stuff so you're not dressed dragging this in to the next generation. You don't want your problems getting on your kids and your grandkids and then you guys create a stronghold and everyone in the whole family is stuck. If everyone in the whole family is drinking, something needs to be addressed with. If everyone in the whole family is angry, something needs to be addressed. You know, you have to look and just really see what's going on and lose yourself so you can be used. So this is your thought for the day. The donkey was loosed in order to be used. Joseph was loosed in order to be used. What do you need to loose in your life in order to be used? I pray that you are blessed this day and you are loosed from whatever you're going through in the name of Jesus. And if it's not immediate, I pray you go through whatever process the Lord wants you to in Jesus' name. All right, guys, God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow with another prophetic word. Bye.